Hey everyone, are you ever curious about why you do the things you do? Maybe you're super adventurous, always up for trying something new. Or maybe you're more cautious, the type who likes a good plan and a reliable routine. Well, it turns out there's a fascinating reason behind all those quirks that make you, well, you. It's all about your personality. And while it's complex, there's an amazing tool that helps break things down. It's called the Big Five Model. Think of it as the five core ingredients that go into the recipe of your unique personality. So, you ready to dive in? Let's start with the first ingredient, openness to experience. People high in openness are like explorers. They crave new ideas, art, and interesting conversations. They're less into routine and always game for a little adventure. On the flip side, those lower in openness are our practical homebodies. They like what works, value traditions, and might not be big fans of surprises. Now, ingredient number two, conscientiousness. This is your inner organizer. Highly conscientious folks are amazing planners, reliable, and super goal-oriented. Think of that friend who's always on time with the perfect to-do list. Those lower in conscientiousness are more flexible, go-with-the-flow types. They might be super adaptable, but could also use a little help with deadlines sometimes. Let's talk extroversion ingredient. Number three. This one's all about where you get your energy. Extroverts thrive on being with people. They love a good party, big conversations, and being part of the action. Introverts, while they can be social, need quiet time to recharge their batteries. They might enjoy a small circle of friends or a good book over a wild night out. And hey, there's no right or wrong here, just different ways to fuel up. Ingredient four is agreeableness. This is your cooperation and compassion meter. Highly agreeable people are natural peacemakers, warm and focused on getting along. They hate conflict and are always ready to lend a helping hand. On the flip side, those lower in agreeableness can be a bit more skeptical, assertive, and sometimes prioritize getting the job done over always being nice. The final ingredient is neuroticism. Think of this as your emotional thermostat. People high in neuroticism experience emotions intensely, the good, the bad, and all the worry in between. They are sensitive souls who might get stressed more easily. Those low in neuroticism tend to be pretty stable, go with the flow, when life throws a curveball. So there's the big five in a nutshell. The real magic is seeing how these ingredients blend together to create your unique personality flavor. Some people are adventurous and super organized. Others are both chill and total people magnets. Understanding your personal mix has some pretty awesome advantages. You can start to see why you're drawn to certain careers why you click with some friends better than others, and how to navigate the ups and downs of life using your natural strengths. It's about self-knowledge, not trying to become someone you're not. We need all types of personalities to make the world an interesting place. This video just scratches the surface of all that the Big Five has to offer. If you wanna take a deeper dive into discovering your personality type and how to use that knowledge to live your best life, Click on the link in the description to check out our book, Your Inner Landscape, Mapping Personality with the Big Five.